Question number six. Knights Need a Shrubbery Incorporated, a plant nursery located in Australia, has deployed a backup job configured to utilize the forever forward incremental backup mode with seven days retention to protect a single virtual machine. Okay, so we have a job here that's one VM inside. Currently, the virtual machine has a single 10 terabyte virtual disk. It's a VM decay, so this tells me it's a VMware environment. Attached, but the vSphere administrator was tasked with reducing the VM decay to eight terabytes. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, if you know a little bit about vSphere, you would know that uh, you can uh, very easily increase the uh, provision size of a uh, virtual disk, but uh, reducing it again is uh, not really an option. So, what are they going to do here? The vSphere administrator attached a new additional eight terabyte disk. Okay, so it has the target size and use partition magic to clone the contents from the 10 terabyte disk to the 8 terabyte disk and then deleted the 10 terabyte VMDK. Okay, so we basically did a block cloning of all of the contents of the 10 terabyte disk over to the 8 terabyte disk. I assume that there was not 10 terabytes of uh, contents on the disk, so that's fine. And then we got rid of this disk and confirmed that it's successfully operating. Okay, great. An operations engineer is asking the backup team what will happen when the backup job runs tonight. Interesting. So let's take a look at these here. An active full will be, be performed automatically as indicated in the job session log. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe. Uh, it, it definitely it will have to do a, a full backup of this eight terabyte disk because I could also phrase the question differently here. What if we just added one extra third disk and then run ran the job? Would it have to pull out whatever's on this disk? Yes, of course, it would have to pull all of it out. Okay, but let's go down here. The job will fail because of this unsupported cloning method. Please see VMKP7618 on how to do this using Norton Ghost. Well, I did use Norton Ghost a lot in a, a past old, old job many years ago but uh, I don't really see how this is going to uh, uh, really change anything here. And uh, if we were to really go and uh, do a little Google search here, I, 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 or Bing search, I suspect that there is no such VMKB. So this is, uh, this is clearly a, a distractor. Job will perform an incremental run successfully, but include a warning. Incremental run successfully without any warnings and a synthetic full will be performed. Now, this one must clearly be wrong because if you remember up here, it said it was forever forward where we don't have any active fools or any synthetic fools. So, so this, this one is clearly wrong. So I would suspect this is wrong. This is wrong, which leaves us with three possible options. Now, active full, well, that means it would back up every single thing again fully meaning uh, the VMDX files, everything, and the job would really say it's an active full. Unless we trigger an active full, this is not going to happen. And uh, since this is a forever forward and it's asking about what's going to happen tonight, it's not going to be an active full. There's no way that's going to happen. So we're basically down to will there be some sort of warning or not? Now, here we, we see that we basically just added a disk and we deleted a disk. And uh, I would suggest that you go to the lab and take a closer look to see, and you could just make a small test and see what, what actually happens. Uh, you don't even have to do any cloning, I would say. You can just make a disk, um, do the backup, um, add an extra disk, make a new backup and see if you start getting any warnings. You could even remove the one disk and then run it again and see what happens. So here I'm going to say the job will perform an incremental run. Of course, it would have to take out whatever is here, but still incrementally, but no warnings at all.